Hi, and welcome to another edition of Ballarat Real Estate TV. I'm Alistair Morrison, and I'm joined with me today by Dominic. Good How are you, Dominic? Be, good to be along again, Alistair. It's been a little while since our last BRE TV. We're good to be back at it. It is good to be back at it. The last BRE TV was all the way from the uh, cosmopolitan city of London, where I visited uh, a range of different real estate agencies, including world-renowned Foxtons and uh, we brought back some fantastic ideas that we've been uh, implementing into the office here in Ballet just to deliver that international level of uh, expertise and service that our, uh, our clients really crave. So hopefully we're bringing back some great uh, some great things to further enhance the value of our vendors properties. Yeah, I'm glad you had a good trip there, Alistair. I'm still waiting for my invitation. Maybe next time I'll get a Guernsey on the overseas trip. You need to climb the ladder a little bit more, Dom, to, uh, to be able to do that. Perhaps you should listen to some more property and you might think about it for next life's, year. Life's good at the top, eh? Uh, well, you've got to get, it takes a while to get there, Dominic. I think the best <laughs> will do. But uh, this week uh, it was also exciting because uh, I managed to get a, uh, an exclusive tour through with, uh, with all the members of the Property Profile Group. Uh, we were hosted and toured through uh, by uh, senior management at realestate.com.au at their head office in Church Street in, uh, in Richmond. So we got a good look around the, uh, the operation that is the uh, behemoth that is uh, realestate.com.au. I think they operate with a staff of about 600 people in the, uh, in the uh, city of Melbourne there and their offices are very, uh, very amazing, spectacular offices. But what was even more amazing, Dominic, is the type of technology companies like realestate.com that you are going to be bringing to the market in the not too distant future. And we're talking about things like uh, 3D uh, tours through properties and augmented reality, and video is a really big thing coming through, sure. Dominic. So it's, uh, I suppose in, uh, in a place like Byron, Dominic, we could consider ourselves groundbreakers when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, moving forward with uh, technology in uh, the local real estate market with BRE TV. But certainly, uh, certainly, some fantastic green things coming to make the lives of uh, buyers and sellers even more uh, even more easier to handle in the uh, in the process of selling their property. Uh, and we'll talk to you a little bit more as the episodes go on about some of these things that are coming through and what we'll be implementing in the, in the business here. Uh, some of the ideas that came out of the, uh, the visit to realestate.com.au. I've, I've got a couple of outstanding properties on the horizon that we'll be doing some interesting things with video on. So watch this space for sure and that'll go through our Facebook and our YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for those ones. We're progressing progressing the business well and, uh, and uh, as I said, uh, all for the benefit of our vendors. But it's been a busy week again, Dominic. We've had some great sales this week. I know uh, you probably want to talk for a good uh, half hour or so how about long have we got, how, how awesome you are about the sale of 4 Kent Street in Ballarat. So Dom, you can just wax lyrical for a bit, I'll think okay. okay. back for a while. So 4 Kent Street uh, in Central Ballarat there yeah, we listed um, uh, on, on a Friday seven days ago. Um, and then this Friday we are sold. Um, so sold in seven days. We had 45 people inspect at the first open home. Yeah. 45 groups of buyers. It was a real party there. We had Mark from our office helping me in. Um, he's got tennis elbow now after writing all the names down at the open home. Um, and then the following days, I took about 10 people through for private inspections each day. Um, and then that's now sold for an outstanding price, um, which the owner's really happy with. And, and the buyers like it. Have a, have a sought after piece of central Ballarat real estate. So um, I've got, uh, gee, around 100 people that missed out uh, looking for another central property. So please give me a call direct on my mobile. Don't worry about this guy here. He'll probably be overseas or uh, down at realestate.com in Melbourne. So give me a call and I'll help you sell your uh, central property for top dollar. Jeez, he's got tickets on himself this week. But that, uh it is true to say, Dominic, we're having some great success for uh, that premium end uh, type of real estate uh, in that central uh, vicinity because it's only even today, this morning, that I handed out the keys to the lucky purchaser of uh, uh, Triple One Pleasant Street in the oh, same yes. in the same location. Another one of my sales, yep. Oh, well, I'm only adding to the size of your head, Dominic. <laughs> but a great result there as well. So uh, I suppose anyone who's looking to sell in the central area, we are dominate, dominating that marketplace at the moment. Even uh, this coming weekend, we've got an auction in Central Ballarat as well. So it's all happening as far as BRE and the achievements we're managing to get in uh, Central Ballarat. But enough about you, Dominic. Another great sale result that happened, which was one of my listings, was 817 Dufton Street North. Another property that got a lot of interest there. And uh, Ian McClure managed to uh, achieve the sale for that one. So a great result, 817 Dufton Street. 
coming back in central into Newington. Mike Brayshaw got a great result at 22 Queen Victoria Street. A beautifully renovated great home. Job. Yep. Lovely home and a really sought after area. I know he, like you with Kent Street, has a massive amount of buyers that missed out on that place. Still hunting around for something, so a great area that uh, if you're looking to sell. And uh, David got a sale at Five Bell Street in Ballard, a, uh, a renovator, I suppose yeah, you call sure. that one. Yep. And they're always very popular, those kind of copies. Always, always have a long list of people looking for something to renovate. But we've been busy replacing the stock that we've been selling. Huge month, month last month, we've got some great new stock in. I know you're pretty excited about 77 Alfred and Drive, Dominic. Great, yeah, four bedroom executive home in Alfred and Drive. Um, you're in uh, the Barrack High School zone there. You're close to the new Lucas um, shopping uh, shopping centre, yet you're still quite close to town. So you skip a lot of that traffic in Alfred and Drive. Um, so come along to uh, inspect that one with me. Give me, give me a call on uh, 77 Alfred and Drive, good property. And uh, Andy Tunbridge is, uh, is very enthused about his wonderful listing, a beautiful architect design home right in Central Valley, close to the lake as well. <coughs> and it has got the period facade on the front of it, but very modern towards the back. And that's a property at 20 Talbot Street, uh, and it's been getting a huge amount of interest, but uh, so well, worth, well worth the inspection. Yeah, so it's uh, priced around a million dollars, mm -hmm. and he had um, 20 inspections at the first open home. Yep. Sometimes people think that uh, those prices, those properties are only available to a select few, but mm -hmm. in Bell right now, there's a lot of people that can, that can move up to that bracket. Yep. Um, so, so Andy's had some good success there. Yeah, again, it's an absolute quality property. Uh, I know you've got a great one at 278 Humphrey Street North, Donnie. Yeah, really beautiful, uh, classic Ballarat home. Over 100 years old, but has been brought back to its former glory mm -hmm. really well by the current owner. Yep. Um, so that's a five bedroom, two bathroom, beautiful, Easy fully home. renovated heritage home for 460 to 490,000. Yep. It is going to be a huge open home and a huge couple of weeks on that property. So come along and check that one out. Yep, 278 yes. Humphrey Street. Ballarat. Hats off to the vendor of that one here has done a magnificent job, but absolutely the house of the week, Dominic, has got to be my listing at 15 Leichhardt Street in uh, Beaufort. And this home is a stunner, I'm really sure you would agree. Really is, yeah. A really beautiful homestead property on a big parcel of land. You've got uh, four bedrooms and a study or five bedrooms, two living areas, absolutely immaculate throughout, manicured gardens, rear access, shedding, there's like a man cave there as well. It's got the works, this property. Uh, and you're gonna have that open on the weekend, I think, as well. So it'd be definitely worth one to get out and see because that is an absolutely stunning home. Watch, I think it's gonna get a lot of attention. And Beaufort is really kicking on because uh, I'm not sure if we want to announce this uh, yet, but Ballot Real Estate has opened its third office in Ararat. Correct. So now we really are dominating that triangle uh, of geographic areas between our Ararat office our Meribar office and our Ballarat office, we're really encompassing all the buyers around that area to really dominate that space. Yeah. In conjunction with our link to the Melbourne market, the interstate market with our property profile group partners there, we're really able to pull in a large amount of buyers to all our properties. And hence the reason, Dominic, why you're probably getting 45 groups of people through your houses such as Camp Street. Sure, correct. Probably yeah. had a lot to do with it. Yeah, we're really lucky with the, the connection we've got to the property profile group. Um, so I don't know whether people not understand it, but all the biggest agencies in Victoria and Australia and um, the world are independent agencies. So we're linked up with all the big players in Melbourne. So um, your Gary Pierce, um, and your Brad Teals, all that. They have uh, six or seven offices each. I think. 10 offices in you know, Melbourne. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they send a lot of business to them, we send it back to them, and it's a really good relationship. Yeah, yep. it's great not to be a franchise. In closing, Dominic, was, uh, we had some fun last night at uh, the uh, the corporate dinner for the uh, Ballarat Rotary Spring Fest. It was, uh, it was a pleasure to be able to do a charity auction for the uh, the club there. I think they raised some great money for the uh, some the uh, charities that they're going to be supporting. Did really well. So uh, good luck for uh, the Roach Club of Ballarat with the uh, upcoming Spring Fest uh, Festival, particularly Market Sunday, which is a huge day around Lake Wendouree. So for any uh, visitors outside Ballarat, always great to come up for Spring Fest Market Sunday. Are we taking submissions for the tram pool yet? Are there Yes, uh, always, always, always open for new teams for the uh, the trample, which is run by Young Ambition, which is a, uh, a rotary club that I'm involved in. So thanks for the plug there, Dobby. <laughs> so if you've got a team of ten, you'd like to be involved in that, more than welcome to hear from you at any stage.
But thanks for watching another edition of uh, Ballarat Real Estate uh, TV. I'll try to deflate Dom's head a little bit for the next time we get together again so he's not done. Uh, we could barely fit it in the door to get in the room to do the video and uh, our uh, videographer had to actually get a really big wide angle lens just to fit him in. But we've managed to do it. So thanks for watching again. Thank you, Dominic. Good to have you here in Ballarat for one second. And we'll see you again next time on Real Estate TV.